Hey, what's up, guys? Hopefully, you're doing fantastic. And welcome to Zero to Hero in Arabic course. In previous part, part one, we had some spoken terms, conversation about reserving the hotels in the words of the lesson. But today, we're gonna have some grammatical terms, how to make imperative verbs, and so on. Then, without any further ado, let's get started. The first topic is about actually how we can make an imperative verb in Arabic, how we can make order or how we can make command in Arabic. In Arabic, there are actually variety of ways. There are multiple ways to make an imperative verb, but the easiest way and best way to make an imperative verb is to look at the second person imperative verbs, and with knowing this. With getting this, we are gonna be able to make imperative verbs to anybody. Okay, this is the first step that you have to look at the second person imperative verb. For example, you have to look inte, inte. For inte, we have to say ruh, ruh. It means go, go. It's mufrad muzekar. It's a masculine and singular it's mufrad mudhikkar with knowing this we can make it other imperative verbs okay but you have to know that in english we when we make an imperative verbs when we say go it refers to anybody it refers to female it refers to masculine it refers to plural for anybody but in arabic there are difference we have to make uh, some changes in verbs. For example, for female, we say ruhi, ruhi. It actually means go, go, but for female. But for plural, when we say it for group of people, we have to say ruhu, ruhu. It means go, go. But for group of people, but this one is for feminine, not masculine. We have to say ruhin, ruhin, ruhu for masculine and ruhin for feminine. The next example is jeep. In English we say bring, bring. For making a predator verb, as I said before, we have to look at the second person imperative verb. Jeeb, inte, jeeb. Bring, bring, bring it to me. For female, we add ye at the end of the word. Gb, gb. For plural, we say jibu, jibu. Bring, bring. Jibin. Jibin. This one is feminine and plural. And the next example is gul. Gul. It means tell. 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 Guli. Guli. You say it for female. Guli. Gulu. Gulu. You say it for group of people. But masculine. In Gulen, you say it for group of people, but feminine. But it's a feminine. Or you wanna make imperative verbs with ask, with the verb of asking. Then you can say is el. Is el means ask. Is it li? Is it li? For female, you say is it li? Ask. For plural, we say isilu, isilu. For plural, but feminine, you say isilin, isilin. Another verb, for example, for stop. For inte, we say ogof, ogof. It basically means stop, stop. For female, we say ogofi, ogofi. For a group of people, we say Ugfu, Ugfu. 
For plural but feminine, we say O gofen, O gofen. Another example for closing. You want to make a predator verb for closing. You want to say close the door. In Arabic, we say sit del bab. Sit del bab. Sit means close. Close. It refers to male. It's mufrad mudhikkar. In siddi, siddi, it means close, but it refers to female. In siddu means close. It refers to plural but masculine. In siddin, it refers to plural but feminine. Jam'un mu'annith. Then we got it that for making imperative verbs in Arabic, we have to look at the root of the verbs, the second person imperative verbs. With knowing this, we can make imperative verbs for anybody. This is the easiest way to make imperative verbs in Arabic. Now we have numbers. In previous lessons, we have been taught numbers from 1 to 19. And today, we are going to have these numbers. Ashura. Ashura means 10. Ashurin, 12. Itlathin, 30. Arbaeen, Arbaeen, 40. Khamsin, 50. Sitin, 60. Sabaeen, 70. Ithmanin, 80 and to sign 90 and mia mia means 100 or 100 and now we are going to learn numbers from 21 to 99 there's actually significant difference in reading numbers in arabic and english and this and knowing this difference is really important for example for reading 21 in English, for reading 21 in English, first of all, we read tens, then ones. We read two, then one, 21. We read it sequentially, okay? But in Arabic, it's completely opposite. We have to read ones and then tens. For example, for reading 21 in Arabic, we say, Wahid wa ashreen. As you see, it's completely opposite. Wahid wa ashreen. Or wahidu ashreen. When you read it quickly, it becomes wahidu ashreen. For a 32, in Arabic we say, Ithnien wut lathin. Ithnien wut lathin. 43, we say, as you see, the reading in Arabic is completely opposite. We read ones, then tens. 54. 65. 76 Sitto Sabain Sitto Sabain 87 Sabao Ithmanin Sabao Ithmanin 98 Ithmanio Tisain Ithmanio Tisain Okay, our grammatical term is over already, and now we are going to have some practical and common expressions in Arabic. And our expression is ish'abbal. Ish'abbal plus attached pronouns. And sometimes Iraqis pronounce it ish'abbal. Ish'abbalik. And it basically means that what do you think or what did you think or what did you wonder or also we can translate this what else did you expect sometimes it has a sarcastic meaning okay our first example is 
اشعب بالك بغداد الزغيرة اشعب بالك بغداد الزغيرة What did you think or what did you wonder? Baghdad is small. Shab Balik means what did you wonder? Baghdad is Baghdad. Is a means small. Ishab Balich. Ishab Balich. Khadija Iraniya. Khadija Iraniya. What did you wonder? But it refers to female. It's feminine. Is a Balich. Is a Balich. Khadija Iraniya. Khadija is Iranian. And the third one, إشعب بالكم أني ما أنجح إشعب بالكم أني ما أنجح What did you wonder or what did what else did you expect? I don't succeed. أنجح means succeed. I succeed. But ما أنجح means I don't succeed. It's the ما makes the verb negative. إشعب بال المحلات ما معزلة إشعب بال المحلات ما معزلة إشعب بال basically means what did he think or what did he wonder shops are not closed المحلات means shops and ما معزلة ما معزلة are not closed معزلة means closed and ما معزلة means not closed. المحلات ما معزلة. إيش عبالها الذهب رخيص. إيش عبالها الذهب رخيص. What does she think? Gold is cheap. إيش عبالها. Ha it refers to pronounce. It refers to she. الذهب means gold and رخيص means cheap. إيش عبالها الذهب the gold رخيص is cheap إيش عبالهم إحنا ما نعرف عربي إيش عبالهم إحنا ما نعرف عربي إيش عبالهم means what do they think or what did they wonder إحنا we ما نعرف we don't know Arabic إحنا ما نعرف عربي. And the second common expressions is ماشي الحال. ماشي الحال. It means it's not bad or it's okay. For example, شلونك اليوم؟ شلونك اليوم؟ How are you today or how's it going today? زينة الحمد لله. I'm good thanks to God. زينة. And it refers to female, but if you are male, you have to say zian. Zian. But this one is for female. Zian. Shlun al-shagal. Shlun al-shagal. How is the job? How is this job? Maashi al-hal. Maashi al-hal. It's not bad. It's okay. Maashi al-hal. Okay, guys. This is what we actually have gone through today. And hopefully you enjoyed it. And these are some exercise and assignments. In order to get good results, you can do them. And what I want you to remember is that all these lessons are linked together. If you want to have great results, please make sure to check them out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.